what do you think was something that stood out as really difficult or more difficult than, than you thought it might be? Well, most things in film, to be honest, you know, because I'm a I'm very solitary kind of guy. And, um, you know, very often I, I've gone out with my, on my own with my camera and photograph people. Um, it took a lot of time before I had an assistant that was sort of late 80s only. And I have an assistant now that I use for uh, slightly bigger shoots. But like the, photo f uh, the photography of the painters that I do a lot, uh, it's actually always ma uh, just me. And uh, to go from there to uh, not just work on intuition, but plan things and work with teams and commit for a year and have 150 people with you. And, uh, who, and a lot of people want to steer you, of course, every day. And, and you know, uh, that's, that's an incredible challenge, you know. Um, so control, because I put a lot of my own money into it, um, it was relatively easy in that sense. There were not so many people telling me what to do. But then for the next film, I thought, well, I might as well see what else is out there. Um, so I took a film that was a Hollywood film, a studio film at least. And I felt that having done control with all English actors or German actors, I needed to maybe do something with an American actor just to see how different people work yeah. and do it in color and have a, a fictional story and um, all that kind of stuff uh, and a very different genre. So I thought, well, just to try the other extreme, you know, and, and I, th I thought it was tough. And the Most Wanted Men had so many more characters, I found that tough. But you, every time you take something else um, from it, and then you can use that the next time, and, and the process is just really interesting, you know. Yeah. And hopefully the result. <laughs> 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 you can never, you know, you can't think for the audience, you know. 